New Year's resolutions. What the heck are they? Well, today I'm going to be giving you a quick definition of New Year's resolutions, a little history, uh, some participation, how many people actually do it, and we'll be going over some popular goals. And finally, stick around to the end because we're going to be looking at my New Year's resolutions and see if I can do it, okay? Well, let's, let's get going. A resolution is when somebody resolves to do something. So when we resolve to do something, we, we promise ourselves we are going to do this. We're going to, to accomplish something. So there's a few different resolutions people might make. One, for example, they want to accomplish something in their life, maybe a personal goal. Maybe, for example, someone wants to run a marathon, so uh, 24 miles, right? Um, another thing that people, people resolve, uh, make resolutions about, is uh, to change an undesirable trait about themselves, to change an undesirable trait. So, I don't know, maybe, uh, hmm, maybe you pick your nose and uh, you don't want to do that in the future. So, that's something I resolve, I will not do that in 2019. Um, and just in general, people will make resolutions to improve their life. Now, a little history of New Year's resolutions. The first uh, resolutions that we know about started in uh, Babylon, Babylon, uh, and uh, that's about 1900 BC, yeah? Uh, so they, what Babylonians would do would be to return borrowed items and uh, they'd also pay their debts. A second little piece of history I could, I'd like to tell you about is with the Romans. Now, uh, the Romans were about 800 AD, and, sorry, 800 BC, they started around, and uh, what they would do is they would make a promise to the god Janus. In medieval times, about 1500 AD, uh, knights would make something called a peacock vow. And this was a vow to renew their chivalry, to be proud, strong knights, and uh, so there you go. Now, in the 1930s, about 50% of Americans would participate in New Year's resolutions. They'd make their resolutions, yeah? But today, we've only got about 45%, so a little less people make their resolutions this year. Still, a, an awful lot do. So what are some popular uh, New Year's resolutions, types of New Year's resolutions that people make? Well, one of the big ones uh, is physical well-being. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, it means that people will make a resolution, for example, to lose weight. Mm -hmm. They might want to exercise more, uh, less alcohol, and maybe also to stop smoking. Another one that uh, a category we might call is improve their well-being. And so uh, this would be, for example, to, to think positively and maybe to, to laugh more. Uh, another uh, uh, category would be to improve their finances. So for example, they might want to save, uh, save more money or they might want to get a new job. Now another category is to improve their education. So um, what does that mean? Well, one, to get better grades, for example, at school, maybe you could study a little harder. Another example would be to uh, study and learn a new language. Uh, and you could do that right here with English Hanoi. Another category that uh, many people uh, resolve to do is to take a trip. Yeah, maybe you, uh, you've always wanted to go to another country and uh, now's a good time to make that resolution. Make it happen in 2019. Another category that many people do is volunteer. Volunteer, maybe share some of your precious time for, for someone who, who needs a little extra help. Another category we might have is make new friends. Who doesn't need more friends, yeah? Uh, Another category is to spend more quality time with your family. Yeah, more quality time with your family. Seems like a, a good one for sure. Uh, another category that many people do is to settle down. And that generally means to 
get engaged, uh, to ask someone to marry you, to, uh, to get married, or maybe to have children. Now, as far as success goes, most people do really bad with this. They do terrible. Uh, about 30% of, of the people just forget their New Year's resolutions within about a day or two. <laughs> so it's pretty bad. However, about 10% of the people who, do, who make re New Year's resolutions are successful. The best way to be successful is to make your, make your resolution measurable. So, for example, if you say, I want to pray more, eh, what does that mean? But if you can measure it, if you could say, I want to pray five minutes a day, well, there you go, that's, that's something. Or whatever it is, it's five minutes of exercise and, and this and that. But if you can measure it, then you have more chance of success. There you go. That's my little tip for today on your New Year's resolution. Well, I'm glad you stuck around to the end because now I'm going to tell you what my New Year's resolution is. And that's this tree. This tree will be down before January 5th. It's my New Year's resolution. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye. Leave your New Year's resolutions in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like and share. Bye-bye.